Hey there and welcome to the video. We are going to be making a birthday card today for a coworker and I wanted to use one of my Anna Griffin card making kits to do so. This is China Closet, a beautiful kit. All of our kits are beautiful, of course. And it's a, a square card making kit. So that's a six by six square card, which you can use portrait or landscape, of course. This luxurious gold thick um, paper. I'm gonna die cut that with that doily die for the next layer. Um, the layer on top of that is a white card part of the kit that came with it um, it was just the one I decided to use and then we're gonna have a couple more layers on top of that um, a smaller doily die and then that edge is going to be um, a piece of scrap in white of course we have our happy birthday sentiment which uh, is a sticker of course and then the candy the beautiful beautiful flowers to go on top lots of flowers so um, it didn't take long to put this card together. Um, she offers step-by-step -step instructions in all of her kits with her dies and the accessories. So you can literally copy and paste what she's already designed or you can use it as a jumping off point. And that's, that's kind of what I did with mine. Um, there was a design that was similar to this, but it had some different elements and some different um, style papers, some different colors, but um, if you are a fan of Anna Griffin, you know that all of her things go along together so well. You don't have to think that hard about it. Um, and you know, you can absolutely copy and paste and there's nothing wrong with that. Or you can design something um, uniquely your own um, or a little bit of a hybrid like I did. Um, so this card has lots of layers um, I'm going to use a good amount of foam tape um, so it's going to sit uh, a bit off of the card itself um, I still was able to fit it nicely within the envelope but I'm also hand delivering this card so it, it makes it easier for me but if you were going to send it through the mail I mean the, the square size is considered unusual so it's always um, extra postage to mail it but you might have to put it in something a bit more padded um, if you want it to safely send it through the mail um, with my design of the flowers I'm going for a very cement uh, symmetrical <laughs> A symmetrical view so whatever I'm doing on one side I'm going to be mirroring it on the other side um, and because I'm adding all the layers and including all of the foam tape I can easily kind of stack those flowers next to the dies the flowers as you probably already know are already embellished um, sometimes three times over with her designs, which um, is just so pretty to have all that dimension. And while I don't often do um, crazy dimensional cards, um, it does add something to it. It's it, the presentation of it is so impressive and it's such a simple technique to do. Um, but anyhow, what really drew me to this particular design was the symmetrical um, shaping of the flowers on the card and because I'm doing all that stacking it makes it super easy to add them and then of course if I can get this paper off <laughs> adding um, adding them because they were already have the adhesive on there makes it even that much easier so um, as you'll see in a second, I'm having a little difficulty sliding that sticker onto my die cut. So what what is there to do but to cut it? And I cut stickers up all the time, um, cut stamps up from time to time as it were. There's nothing wrong with it. No one would ever know except for you that I cut that die cut. Um, but whatever you decide, you can always cover it with something else. That's a beautiful part about 
this craft. Um, you can, can hide your so-called mistakes or what is it? Happy accidents. <laughs> Isn't that what Bob Ross says? Um, so anyhow, I'm trying to make sure I do not stick that foam tape um, too far outside of the middle because I don't want it showing through that beautiful doily layer um, for this last one. And then I'm adding the last layer of flowers, that one, two, three, that dimension and just having that, that triangle of the or the odd number is more pleasing to the eye than an even number. So um, I'm utilizing that design rule, quote unquote. Um, I'm adding foam tape to the sentiment that's already sticky. I could have taken time to taken some of the sticky away, but I didn't need to. It wasn't really worth it. And then, of course, this last layer of flowers on top. Um, I do decide to add some dimensional, another little piece of foam underneath the last layer of flowers because as it got higher and higher I was just afraid that you know pushing down on it might bend the flowers a little bit and I didn't I didn't want that to happen um, especially for that top layer it's a little bit more delicate so I'm doing that to give a little support but that's basically the card um, so I hope that um, you enjoyed watching I certainly enjoyed making it and um, I'm sure there'll be more to come in the future. Thanks so much for joining me. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.